I really don't want to do this episode. I don't. You see me in my attire. I was going to talk some Georgia Southern football, but there's stuff across the wires about Lamar Jackson. There's stuff across the wires about Justin Fields yet again. And um, I'm not necessarily going to say no to Lamar Jackson, but I'm definitely saying no to Justin Fields. Um, The reason why I don't want to say no to Lamar Jackson, because I think he can thrive a, a very, he can thrive in this offense, but he's going to cost a lot. Justin Fields is still on a rookie contract. And um, he does not have the leverage to ask for a lot of money. And to be quite honest, I don't think Justin Fields is a very good quarterback. Um, I think he runs very well. Um, but as far as him passing, he hasn't shown me enough to say he can beat out Desmond Ritter as of right now. If this is your first time here, welcome. I can be found on YouTube and Rumble. I'm also on Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, Google Podcast. This is episode 532 of the first and frame rate show. Um, I really appreciate all the love and support that I've been getting lately. You guys are amazing. Uh, also, if you want to uh, donate or you want to uh, help the show, uh, my cash app is BF baller 20. Also the PayPal link is down in the description, or you can just um, hit up bet us, put down a hundred dollars and uh, that will give you 125% bet book bonus. The XFL is going to be starting this weekend. That is very exciting, in my opinion. I want to see how that goes. Um, hopefully, you can do put some bets on that or anything under the umbrella of sports, even in esports. Hopefully, you guys check that out. I started this episode a little bit different because of the fact that what's going on with the quarterback situation. Um, it's it's really a drag with all the things that's going on with the quarterbacks and. Uh, I know we need at least another quarterback. I want Desmond Ritter to be QB one. I don't there at this point. I just need to put it out there and let it be known. I tried to be really nice. I didn't want to force my hand because I am open minded about another quarterback coming in. But I said this on the last episode, we need a solid QB number two. Cause I think this kid has at least earned the right to try out the be QB one. I think he will be QB1. I think he's going to be very special for this team. I think he has all the tools and intangibles to be that guy. Don't get me wrong. I like Lamar Jackson. I I, I know there's some knock on him by, the, by some of the things that he do as far as passing the ball, but I think he's an efficient enough passer to be pretty good in the offense. I, this Justin Fields thing, I don't, I, I'm not even going to touch that. I said what I said in the beginning about Justin Fields. I'm going to stick with that. I don't think this episode is going to be that long, but I'm just here to tell you guys, I want Desmond Ritter to be QB1. I want him to be. I'm I'm going to go out on a limb and be biased here, and I don't like to be real biased when it comes to the NFL because things happen so fast in NFL trying to stick with one or two or, or three particular guys on a team because the, the, the NFL changes so fast as far as who's hot and who's not. It's very hard to stick with somebody because one week they'll look great, the next week they want. And college is a little bit different. I mean, I am a Georgia Southern Eagle, and don't get me wrong, I'll always root for them, but I know when there's bad play and I know when there's good play. And when play when 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 bad play sticks out, it's it pretty much sticks with you for the rest of the season in college. NFL, not so much. You have a chance to turn things around. So it's hard to really stick with one person when somebody could be an unsung hero at any moment you know look at Kadarius Tony nobody was really talking about him but you see what he did in the Super Bowl you know what I mean so it, it, it also that linebacker that they have number 32 nobody really talked about these guys but they're the ones that actually step up because everybody was talking about my homes everybody was talking about Hurts a lot of people talking about the Kelsey brothers you're talking about uh, uh what's the other the, the running back Pacheco but look who really made a difference in those games that's why the NFL is so it's funny sometimes, but I want Desmond Ritter to be QB1. I want him to be able to take the lead of this team. I want him to be able to be that, you know, to be the face of the offense. I want him to be what Matt Ryan was for this team. And I'm not talking about the the accomplishments and the accolades. I want him to be that, the, the leader of this offense or the leader of this team. I actually want him to surpass Matt Ryan. I, obviously, I think we all would want that for our next quarterback. 
but I want him to be that guy. I don't want to get Justin Fields in here and try to, you know, uh, have a QB competition where I don't think it's warranted. Not in that capacity. If Lamar Jackson happens to make it here, I don't think there's going to be much of a QB, you know, uh, controversy. I think Lamar Jackson will be QB1, and that goes back to my last episode of having a solid QB2. The other thing about that is Lamar Jackson costs way too much, in my opinion, to the to, to pay him and have this team on its way. A lot of people feel like if you have the quarterback, you can just put anybody else out there. That rarely happens. You can say that, oh, well, look at um Patrick Mahomes. I don't think y'all look at Patrick Mahomes' contract. His contract don't hit the double digits until like 2026. I think right now he's getting paid like six to nine million a year. I think by 2025, 2026, that's when his contract is start being back. The back load part of his contract start to show. And I think at some point he's like going to be owed like, like $57 million, something like that. I saw it before. I don't have it up here, but dude is like back loaded from like his rookie contract was basically extended. And his contract was extended to where he's getting paid like six, nine, 11, 12, 15, 25, 35, 45. And by the time 2028 comes, dude's going to be be worth about another. Um, he's definitely going to outplay the contract, but he's going to be like damn near 30, 40, maybe 45, $55 million a hit on the salary cap. So they did a very good job with his contract. With that, with, um, or was it with Deshaun Watson situation with him getting all that guaranteed money? And I feel sorry for the, uh, the Cleveland Browns. Maybe they'll be able to turn it around, but horrible contract. It looks horrible right now. Lamar Jackson probably want that same type of structured deal where he gets guaranteed money all the way through 240, $250 million guaranteed. The Falcons have no business. I'm going to be honest, they have no business trying to pay that. You're talking about almost $50 million a year for the next five years. The, the Falcons salary cap right now is at what? I think the last episode of it was like 56. Let me see. Where, what did I say? 56 million in cap space right now? You're going to get 50 million of that to, uh, to one player? Guaranteed? No way. No way. And, and it's not even about his talent. It's just the money with him. No way. But I think the cap space is probably going to go up some more. I think we'll probably be, I'm thinking we'll probably be up in the 70s or 80s, but that's still, that's a lot of money to put on a player. No. 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 <laughs> it ain't going to, no. No, don't do it. Nevertheless, I think we should just stick with what we got. We stick with what we have. We get another quarterback somewhere in the draft, or we bring in a veteran and uh, have him backup. I, I want to. I, I do want a really good, solid veteran, a really good backup that can actually go in and make some things happen. If so happens that Desmond Ritter can't play, you know, I want a solid one. I mean, I maybe one day later on this week or next week, we'll actually look into some solid veteran quarterbacks that are out there. You know, I, I don't think that's, I'm going to be honest, I don't think that's that many out there. I, mean, I don't want to bring Andy Dalton in, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, Nah, I just don't see it, man. Jimmy Garoppolo's going to want some money. Nah, I don't see that. You know, I I, I just don't see it. So I, as of right now, I, we, we're that's something we're going to probably have to revisit sometime, maybe in another episode or whatever the case may be, because, that that is actually an interesting look, but I want Desmond Ritter to be that guy. I want him to be able to take the reins of this offense. I want him to take the reins and be the leader of this franchise for the next five, ten, you know, maybe 15, 18 years. Yeah, I, I really mean it. I want him to be that. But the only way he'll be that if you give him the chance. He only had four games to play, and out of these four games, I think he's done enough to at least look at him again for next year. Would I love to have a Lamar Jackson? Yes, I, I'm not going to sit here and lie. I would love to have a Lamar Jackson. But at the same time, we have to understand that, 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 that guy's going to cost a lot of money. And I know there's some stuff on Twitter talking about if he would be a perfect fit for fantasy. We're not here to play fantasy football, for people. We're not here to play fantasy football. We're here to win football games. 
And that's one thing I love about Coach Arthur Smith. He's not even trying to look for that. But I know he wants a, a quarterback like, uh, like Lamar Jackson. Maybe he will. I don't know. But I. But all I know is, me personally, I want Desmond Ritter to be the guy. I want him to get the chance to be QB one. I want him to be the guy to, to lead the, lead us in the next season. If things don't fall out, that's fine. You know, it, it happens. A lot of quarterbacks go through that throughout this league. Every quarterback that goes through this league does not end up like a Patrick Mahomes or Justin Herbert or Josh Allen or, uh, you know, they, they, we, we just don't get those uh, Jalen Hurts. Y'all got to understand, Jalen Hurts was not the guy coming out of college. Yes, he's a very intelligent uh, football player, and he's evolved into an excellent quarterback. But you got Eagles fans that didn't believe in this guy from day one. I, I'm almost, you can put it on record. If they can delete their tweets, you can go to the Wayback Machine and find their tweets. People have been saying it. I know some people saying it on a podcast. They were not believing in that guy day one. Hell, I didn't believe in him day one. But I got to admit, he's turned into a phenomenal quarterback with the system that he's in. And I want our quarterback to be the same way. But we'll see how that goes. I don't want to hold you guys up any longer. I just think that this guy that we have right now could be the guy going forward. Let's just give him a chance. I want him to be QB1 going into the season. He stinks up the joint. Hey, I've been wrong before. We all have. Nobody's perfect when it comes to talking about players and their play on the field. But at least give the kid a chance. I think he deserves that, at least. If they bring somebody else in, that's their decision. I don't agree with it. But I understand if they bring a Lamar Jackson in. I don't. I, I don't. I'm not cool if they bring Justin Fields in. I, I got nothing against Justin Fields. I just don't think he's done anything to say that he's better than Desmond Ritter right now. I, I don't think he's done enough. I just don't see it. Maybe you guys see it better than I do. I just don't. But y'all guys, let me know if you like this commentary, the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think. Do you want Desmond Ritter to be QB one? I know I do. I want him to be QB1. I want him to make some things happen. Hopefully, we'll get that done. But at the same time, we need to be realistic. There's a possibility that we could get another quarterback. There's a possibility that Lamar Jackson could be the guy. I won't agree with it 100%, but I understand it because he's just that dynamic. What I don't get with is this whole situation with Justin Fields. He could stay in Chicago. Yeah, he can go to some other team. Not, and, 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 and it's not a knock on him. I just don't think that he's better than Desmond Ritter. I think Lamar Jackson is, but not Desmond Ritter. And the thing on Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson just costs too much money. Point blank, point blank period. He just he he just costs too much money. You know, all that guaranteed money we just talked about, that, that's way too much. Y'all guys, let me know what you guys think, man. You guys enjoy the rest of your Thursday. I'll be back on Friday. Maybe we'll talk about some solid backups. Maybe we'll actually talk about some Georgia Southern football. We'll see. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. Subscribe, uh, support in any way that you can. All the links are down in the description. I'm out of here. Y'all guys take it easy. You guys be blessed. Peace.